Well, hello everybody. So yeah, I want to kind of to do a just kind of a quick video here. I've uh, I uh, haven't done anything for a while. I've been traveling for work and all that stuff. But I've recently picked up a couple of uh, extra instruments for my lab, and uh, I just kind of wanted to just show you these things. And uh, I'll do uh, some more in-depth videos later on these instruments. Uh, one of the ones I got here was this Agilent. Uh, 1670G logic analyzer. This is the 136 channel version. I got this with all the pods, all the cables, all the grabbers, I mean everything. Uh, so there was no other accessories to try to hunt down. Uh, this one here has an L a color LCD display. Uh, it's got GPIB. It's the only thing it doesn't have is the uh, the oscilloscope uh, option. But hey, it'll uh, easily. Uh, <laughs> Easily work for uh, my purposes. It's uh, I've been looking for one of these for quite a while, and uh, it's a nice, uh, nice instrument. Uh, you know, I've uh, had a number of instances where I wanted to uh, do some analyzing on uh, uh, oh, some uh, RS two thirty two issues I had with a couple of uh, uh, terminal node controllers, but didn't really have anything adequate to help me uh, do some troubleshooting with that. The other instrument I acquired, and I acquired it just because I just, well, hey, it's an HP, and I just wanted it. This here is the uh, the HP 1980B oscilloscope measurement system. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, two, this one here is a two channel. You can have another module that goes in here and expand it to four channels. It's also one of HP's earlier uh, digital capable oscilloscopes. This one here doesn't have the digital function. But I have picked up another one of these, and I'm just waiting for it to show up that does have all the digital stuff installed. So I may be able to, uh, 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 you know, take the other one and upgrade this one to the uh, the full digital function. It's kind of interesting. I didn't, uh, I, the first time I saw this instrument was in the movie Brainstorm. It was in a particular scene where it had a, uh, I think another instrument, I think it had an 8660C stacked on top of it. I really couldn't tell what it was because it was shown so briefly. Uh, initially, I thought it was, you know, maybe some sort of network analyzer, but nope, it's a, uh, it's an oscilloscope. And uh, it's, uh, this one here is the all analog version. The digital versions have extra functions here on these buttons. No, this one doesn't have that option. But it does have GPIB. It can be controlled, uh, you know, over the network or over the uh, GPIB network uh, pretty easily. It's a nice oscilloscope, but it does have a little issue that I will explain later when I uh, when I uh, do a video about this. But it's a really cool oscilloscope, and uh, these were only made from about eighty two to eighty six, I think. And that is one of the reasons why I don't remember this this instrument. And of course, I've been working on had once again had to open up my uh, my synthesizer here because I had another uh, reference go bad on me. So hopefully, this is the last time I'll have to service this for a while until it comes time to uh, do the service interval on it. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it that I've got for right now. Um, like I said, I've been uh, I've been working, been pretty busy, so I try to get uh, some videos out uh, when I can, but. Later on, we'll do some more in-depth uh, videos on this. And uh, this one here is, it's, I'm still not quite, you know, still haven't learned a lot about how setting this up. It's kind of complex, and uh, I've been watching a few other uh, helpful videos on how to set up the triggering and all that jazz. But with that, guys, I'll uh, catch you later on down the road, and uh, we'll hopefully get something here soon in the next, uh, you know, few weeks or so. Catch you later. Bye. 